Did you know that right now a new competitive team shooter in the style of Vietnam based on CSGO source code is being developed? No, and that this project has been under development with an official license and permission from Valve for over 5 years? Also no? Then you'll learn a lot of new things today. Max at the microphone again and let's get right into it. Almost all extremely popular multiplayer genres were originally created as modifications based on popular games. The first concepts of MOBAs came from the custom map for the second StarCraft and were polished to perfection in defense of the ancients or Dota for the third Warcraft. Battle Royales grew out of mix of Minecraft servers based on the Hunger Game movie and follow-up iterations like PUBG for the second Arma. Competitive shooters of course are based on Counter-Strike, which was also a mod for the first Half-Life. And all sorts of auto-battlers grew out of custom auto chess game mod for Dota, which itself was originally just a mod. So it's literally a loop, where games are used to create mods that grow into full-fledged games, that are again used to create other mods that also grow into independent games. And today's project is a good example of this concept. It's created based on the source code and the official license of the game which was originally a mod, the gameplay is based on another Valve game which was also originally just a mod, and it all runs on the CSGO engine. I know it sounds a little confusing, so let's figure it out. Meet Waki, the team leader of this project. Like many of us, he's a big fan of Source Engine and grew up on games like Half-Life, Counter-Strike and Day of Defeat. At the same time, Bucky was very interested in history and especially in the Cold War period. In this regard, in addition to the games on the Source Engine, he was also very interested in the games about the Vietnam War, especially the first two parts of Viet Cong. And at one point he thought, on Source Engine there is a casual Day of Defeat about the World War II. And there is hardcore insurgency about modern wars. But there is nothing in the middle that both stylistically and gameplay-wise could satisfy a wider audience. And the competitive game in the Vietnam setting could fill that niche perfectly. If you think more about it, it's a really interesting time period. At the same time, there were a lot of modern weapons and some weapons remaining from the World War II. And due to this, the potential number of game mechanics and weapon arsenal are doubled. So thus was born the project called Military Conflict Vietnam. From the earliest sketches and concepts to its current state, the game has been in development for over 5 years. As a foundation, in the first two years they used code from the Source SDK 2013 and heavily modified Half-Life 2 deathmatch mechanics. However, as soon as they managed to produce the first full-fledged prototype with the demonstration of a vertical slice, Dev Team put together a 4-minute trailer and wrote a big letter to Valve. The purpose of the request was to get an official license of the engine and the source code of CSGO, which would allow them to sell this project on Steam as a full-fledged game. And surprise surprise, the answer was positive, and the game has been developed on the basis of CSGO for already 3 years. Steam Level U – service for increasing your Steam level and automatic exchanging keys for trading cards and sets. You can recharge your balance any way possible, including bank cards, crypto and even CSGO keys and skins. When you buy a level, the site will send you Steam trade with pre-collected sets needed to craft a badge and increase your level. While leveling up, you'll receive various emoticons, backgrounds, discount coupons for games and an increased number of friend slots. If you have extra money left on your balance, you can exchange it for some small games way cheaper than in Steam. And they also have a referral system that allows you to get as much as 3% of sales from the users you invited. Join their Discord channel and receive a secret promo code. Steam Level U, links down below. Once you enter the main menu, it'll be immediately clear that they're using all of the modern features. It has a panorama UI, a smart lock compensation system and advanced settings. However, the development team decided to not stop there and began to add their own features on an already cool framework. For an example, they completely rewrote the graphic rendering and shading, so literally how the game looks. And compared to CSGO, it's just superior in all ways. You've got first person legs, all sorts of cool effects, an improved particle system, dynamic clouds, a dynamic lighting system with day and night cycle, and much, 
much more. Needless to say, the name of the main coder is Dmitry, and he wrote almost a 50 pages long article about what technology they've managed to implement in military conflict in Vietnam. I think the result speaks for itself, because in addition to coding, Gunship Mark II is responsible for the implementation of various graphical effects. Previously, he created a well-known M mod for the second Half-Life, which brings the game release in 2004 to a completely different level of graphics. And just like an M mod, if you don't like any particular effect, you can easily adjust it or turn it off completely. The list of cool guys on the team is just getting started. Odd Dog, Yakuza, GD40, Slimek and Royald, creators officially added maps from CSGO like Anubis, Vineyard, Frostbite and many others are in charge of level design. The second awesome coder Fikul is behind the dev kit, and in case you didn't know, he recently released Hammer++, which brings a lot of features for creating maps from the second source to the first one. So basically, everyone who's working on this project is not an amateur at all. They are real experts who want to make a game that they would love to play themselves. And this attitude can be felt literally in every part of this project. I've been testing MCV for over a year now, and seeing how your feedback directly affects the development of the project is just awesome, as the guys actively listen to all criticism and suggestions. Gameplay tests are conducted literally every week, and any of these play tests can lead to some new game modes, mechanics, ideas or even weapons. Despite the fact that the game is still in early alpha, it already has a full-fledged wiki, which describes the general lore of the game, player classes, locations, modes and weapons. There are currently two teams in the game, the Viet Cong and the United States Army. Six player classes that are cleverly balanced with each other, and more than 90 types of weapons. Each class has access only to certain types of primary and secondary weapon. Someone has to be an assault rifleman with an underbarrel grenade launcher, someone a medic and deploy medkits and ammunition, someone an engineer with a shotgun placing landmines, someone a sniper guarding points, and someone a machine gunner firing in all directions to suppress enemies. However, it's possible to pull off quite unusual tactics by simply dropping or picking up weapons from other classes. It's worth noting that the developers pay close attention to the details of the weapons. Animations and modeling were done by guys who are interested in real prototypes, as all kinds of small parts, actions, grip, reloading and automatic weapon logics were reproduced as closely as possible. In addition to the choice of player classes, you can also customize the appearance of your character. The color of camouflage, headgear and helmet and facial accessory. And some of them have practical use. For an example, a gas mask will help you to avoid poisoning from gas grenades or smoke. And the smartest stuff to wear in the jungle is forest camouflage. The direction in which CSGO and military conflict Vietnam will be developed are completely different. Creating mods for Counter-Strike is becoming more and more difficult with every year, as the developers are literally cutting off all of the customization in order to maintain the competitive part of the game. When MCV as a project grew literally in the hands of the mod makers, and the first public release will include full support for the workshop. And by workshop support, I don't mean the trimmed tools from CSGO, where you can only upload maps and skins. I'm talking about full-fledged workshop support like in Left 4 Dead 2. Developers understand that most likely not all of the players will enjoy the style of Vietnam, and they are working hard on tools that will allow the community to create their own mods and even full games based on their iteration of the engine. The official servers will work under the SV Pure Protection, basically just the vanilla gameplay from the developers. However, on your own servers you'll be able to easily replace models, textures, types and specs of weapons, create new game modes and much, much more. So in theory, full-fledged port of CSGO gameplay is just a matter of time. For example, right now, behind the scenes, two big community game modes are already being developed. The first one is the zombie survival with custom models, weapons and maps. And the second one is happening in the Star Wars universe. And all of this won't run on some weird server plugins, it'll work via native support within the game itself. 
Most importantly, the game will not have any microtransactions. Buy it once for 20 bucks and all of the future DLCs will be absolutely free. Early access release is scheduled for the end of this month. Link to the official website and the Discord channel where you can chat with the developers down below. Check out my previous video where I once again talk about CSGO Source 2 leaks and don't forget to support me by subscribing, liking and writing some comments. Until next time, увидимся!